Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Servlet API tutorial, chapter 6, advanced servlet part 1. In this video, we are going to learn an important interface defined in servlet API, servlet context and servlet config. We'll discuss about the difference between these two interfaces and learn how we can implement and we'll show you the demonstration with an example of servlet context and config application. And we'll have an homework for your practice project. So let's start with servlet context. Servlet context object can be used to get configuration information from the web.xml file. That's your deployment descriptor. Why do we need servlet context? The object of servlet context provides an interface between the container and servlet. So it provides you the communication from servlet to container. Servlet context object can be used to get configuration information from the web.xml file. This object can be used to set, get, or remove attribute from the deployment descriptor. And this object can also be used to provide inter-application communication. The concept behind the servlet context, in general, we can say it starts from the web application. You define it in the particular servlet. This servlet, when deployed in a servlet container in a server, this will create an object of servlet context. And this particular servlet context object will help you to get the connect to the deployment descriptor and get the initial parameter defined from XML and read it and display it in your front end. To understand it better, you can see this particular process, which is start from the web.xml, that's your deployment descriptor of your web application, where we have tags, servlet tag. Within the servlet tag, we have defined init param. This is a kind of a tag where we define the parameters. These parameters are defined in a deployment descriptor which goes and deployed in a server with the help of the servlet. We are going to create this object and call the method to get the init parameters, contact the deployment descriptor and display it in your HTML. That's where the display the parameter. Maintain the session and will you? it will provide you the complete a list of the init parameter defined in your deployment descriptor. So when in case of some large commercial application, you have large amount of data where you can provide the list with the help of XML without connecting to the database. So this is another kind of maintain the database or some kind of RSS live data to provide that time you can use this kind of feature. To understand it better, Let's see how do we implement servlet context interface. There are two ways you can implement the servlet context. One, we have a method get servlet context defined in interface which returns the object of servlet context. And two, you can extend the generic servlet class and that will return the object of servlet context. And you can implement the method get servlet context. Now there are a few methods with the help of which you can get the parameters from the deployment descriptor. Public strict get init parameter that return the parameter value for the specified parameter name. This will be in a single parameter name. Now when it is a list of parameters, you can get it done by using enumeration. So public enumeration get init parameter names wrap will returns the names of the context initialized parameters. Now we have set attributes with the help of which you can set the values, the given object in the application scope and the get attribute that will have uh, returned the attribute for the specific name. Enumeration that will return the names of the context initialized parameter in an enumeration of string objects and the remove attributes that will remove the attribute with the given name from the servlet context. Now let's see an example. So what do we have? We have an application servlet context demo for TechRanch. Now this particular application contains a Java file which is a servlet where we written the servlet as you can see. Here what I'm trying to do, I'm extending the HTTP servlet class. 
now in this i am i am implementing do get method and uh, the reason i'm using because here uh, the communication is gonna be in a stateless so once it is done then i'm creating an object of request and response and throwing ex exception for sublet and io and content type will be your text hyphen html i'm trying to print the values from the from the deployment descriptor so first we need to connect it with the help of context get servlet context enumeration since i'm trying to get the values in one time so i'm getting a string array of string in a enumeration form and uh, i'm passing a condition that it has more ele elements in an enumeration and as long as it is exist it will display the value from get init parameter now as you can see my as you can see my deployment descriptor part of code web.xml it has context param tag this context param will define your parameter values along with the name in a structure form and uh, this way it will display you in your html in html i'm just making a call to the servlet and the servlet will print the value look how it execute so let's see servlet context demo this is my project explorer in an eclipse ide and uh, here is my application servlet context demo for techcrunch and uh, in this application i just have a servlet written here demo servlet context.java in this java file i first imported all the packages now i have uh, my servlet name which is extended my http servlet class and implementing the do get method along with this i'm just getting the output value trying to contact the deployment descriptor and getting the init parameter names and passing the condition and printing the values now let's take a look of my deployment descriptor here web app and here i'm printing my application name that will be your display name and my first uh, file which will execute when i deployed my application that's called welcome file list tag now here i started my servlet definition in the deployment descriptor my servlet name is the same as a servlet uh, application name you can have different name but you have to be consistent and define everywhere wherever you need to define your servlet name like this one and here after defining the servlet name you need to give the servlet class if you are using in a package you need to mention the path so you need to have any package then you have to make it like this so here i'm just mentioning the servlet class that's my servlet name as you can see here the demo servlet context the demo servlet context now the servlet context define in a deployment descriptor with the help of the context param tag within this context param you are going to define your parameters and uh, the servlet context will connect to the from the servlet to the web deployment descriptor it will contact it and get the values for you and print it in your front end so context param is a tag and uh, you are going to define parameter name driver name parameter value and then uh, you can have as many as you want and uh, according to your structure and in the end you need to provide the servlet mapping tag and of web app so this is my deployment descriptor here in index.html i just need to start a thread so this is the place from where when we deploy an application the things start and uh, this will display you and here will be your click here link when you click on this this will display your parameters so let's see how it execute so this is my context application right click run as run on server connect to your server and let's see this is showing in a console server started and you can 
simply see this is my uh, execution of servlet context demo when i click here this will print my parameters from the web.xml so it is sorting the information in a parameter form so this is the execution of servlet context servlet config object is created by web container for each servlet to pass information to a servlet during initialization so this object can be used to get configuration information from web.xml and uh, when to use if any specific content is modified from time to time this is the perfect this is the interface which helps you to update it accordingly so to understand the concept is basically so far in a servlet context we define the parameters with the help of context param tag now after defining we need to initialize the parameters which can be changed time to time so for that we need another object created during a runtime deployment can help you to maintain the information advantage of servlet config the core advantage of servlet config is that don't need to edit the servlet file if information is modified now let's see the demonstration how we can implement it servlet config interface has few methods public strict get init parameter which will return the parameter value for the specified parameter name enumeration uh returns the enumeration of all the initialized initialized parameter names string get servlet name that will return the name of the servlet and servlet context get servlet context return the object of servlet context now let's take a look at the code this will have a servlet config demo tr for techrank is an application web application demo servlet.java is the servlet where we are defining the servlet config web.xml where we are going to define the init param tag and index.html where we are going to call now let's take a look at the demo servlet class how are we going to implement the servlet config here first we need to extend or inherit your http servlet class now here i'm going to define and implement do get method because http uh, we are going to have the http state less session create and request and response object and throw servlet exception in io exception response will be in your text hyphen html format and printing the values now servlet config and an object of it and get servlet config method this will help to contact the deployment descriptor now here i'm going to return the enumeration of all the parameter values from the init param tag now i'm going to put a condition like as long as the enumeration contains some elements it will print the values and this is the param name and the init parameter name now let's take a look at the web.xml code the servlet the servlet name the servlet class and the init param this is the tag which is initializing the parameter and which will change accordingly configuration file parameter name tick range parameter value resources and closing the init parameter in servlet now let's see how it execute now let's take a look at the execution of servlet config demo this is my servlet config demo application and here i have my source and uh, this is my servlet demo servlet let's take a look at the code demo servlet which extend the http servlet class do get method request response object throws exception content type and printing the values connecting to the de deployment descriptor and getting the values of the configuration is from the servlet config uh, object and the method enumeration defining and getting the init parameter names and putting the condition and printing the values now let's take a look at the web.xml inside the web content and web inf this is my deployment descriptor display name your uh, web application name you can put anything and welcome file list index.html servlet my servlet name you can have anything but you have to be consistently defined on all the places where you have to be mention your servlet name somewhere like this this is my servlet class this is a difference 
servlet name and servlet class can be different but you have to make sure the class is the same you have defined and created the servlet and the servlet name has to be consistently same on all the places servlet uh, these are the init param tag where i mentioned the parameter name and parameter value you can have as many as you want and this is how we maintain the information now let's take a look at the index.html where i'm just giving a hyperlink and forwarding the session to the next servlet now let's deploy it in our server You can see here this is what the servlet name I mentioned display name so click here and uh, here are the values advanced servlet servlet name param name parameter name and their value so just in case if you change the value it will automatically update it accordingly so this is the execution of servlet config api so far we have learned about servlet config and servlet context interface now let's see some important facts about them servlet context and servlet config is an interface used to get configuration information from deployment descriptor and define their initialization it is easy to use and maintain for large commercial applications getter setters makes it easy to call methods and get information and update it time to time inter application communication and it is better to provide it from the web.xml file using the context parameter element and in case of uh, config we can initialize it by init parameter this is always confusing to just let's compare it and see what is the difference between the servlet config and servlet context when we say servlet config it is available in java x servlet api package this object is one per servlet class it will be destroyed once the servlet execution is completed that's what uh, we have the do get method or uh, stateless protocol we should give request explicitly in order to create servlet config object for the first time an object of servlet config will be created during initialization process of the servlet so this config object is public to a particular servlet only now let's see about the context the servlet context available in java x servlet api servlet context object is global to entire web application object of servlet context will be created at the time of web application deployment and the scope as long as the web application is executing the servlet context object will be available int it will be destroyed once the application is removed from the server servlet context object will be available even before given the first request practice project today to understand and practice servlet config and context we have online bookstore web application where we have user id password list of books and the status parameters now instructions make a servlet application name online bookstore where user can enter id and password and select a book out of list of books show status available so basically you have to implement a web application you have to develop a web application and make a servlet write a servlet and uh, just like uh, call the servlet config and uh, maintain the list of books in a web.xml and getting the values and printing in the servlet so far uh, in this servlet course we work we have learned about servlet api the life cycle and session management email implementation and now we have completed servlet uh, config and context interfaces in the next chapter advanced servlet 2 we are going to cover servlet filter and the page direction and other important facts so stay tuned Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and you can contact us for more resources and assistance on techranch2019 at gmail.com and let's make coding fun. Thank you.